We finished the previous video with an exercise about data manipulation. In this video we are going to solve this exercise. Uh, hopefully you have tried to do the exercise by yourself before watching this video so you can get comfortable with the, with the comments. Uh, so let's take a look at the exercise. Create a matrix with three columns. The first column should have numbers from 1 to 49 with an interval of 0 0.1. Let's first create this first column. So column one, uh, we have seen that to uh, create a, s uh, a list of numbers with a interval between them, with a set interval between them, we use the command seek. And so seek from zero to forty-nine point nine, with an interval, we use the per parameter z uh, by 0.1 okay so call one okay it worked let's see the second column the second column should have numbers from 1 to 50 each number repeated 10 times so column 2 is equal to let's repeat use the command rep and we are going to repeat numbers from 1 to 50 and each of these numbers will be repeated 10 times so column 2 yeah that's what we expected the third should contain uh, the sum of these both these numbers per, per line we have seen that in R you can uh, select you can sum an array with another simply by summing them and it's a element wise operation so we can just uh, create a third variable called column tree and the attribute is value to them okay so, but now we need a matrix composed of all these elements. So, how do we do it? So, let's make a, a matrix. Let's call it table. We, we equal to column bind, C bind, and each of these variables that we created: column one, column two, and column three. Let's see if it worked. okay and we are asked to show only the end of it so tail table so that's the solution of the exercise uh, as everything in programming there is many possible ways to solve the same exercise for instance you can just uh, can just uh, see bind and you can uh, inside of the C bind give the the values for each of which column like like that so there is many ways to to solve the exercise uh, in the next video we are going to take a look in the types of variables See you there.